Welcome back. Subway announcing its second consecutive year of record sales this morning. The company reporting a nine and a quarter percent increase in same store sales globally and a seven point eight percent increase in North America. Big numbers here. Joining me right now with an exclusive interview is the CEO of Subway, John Chidsey. John, it's great to see you again. Thanks very much for being here. Can you assess the quarter for us? Tell us about the results. Sure. Good to see you again, Maria. Uh, yeah, you know, we continued in 22, the momentum that we created in 21. So that's eight straight quarters of same store sales growth for us. And sequentially, actually, each quarter got stronger and stronger throughout 22. I think a big part of that was we launched our Subway series, our 12 chef curated sandwiches uh, in the summer. And that really added sort of fuel to the fire and, and continued the growth along with all the uh, innovations and all the investments we made in our digital platforms. What about inflation? How has that impacted business? Have you passed on inflation to the consumer? Yeah, no, we, we've taken some pricing. I'd say we're pretty much in line with the rest of QSR. Um, actually, in 23, I think we're going to see a decrease in terms of uh, maybe 200 to 300 basis points in terms of the food basket cost that our franchisees are facing. So not back to the levels it was, but I think we're through the, the, the worst part of that. And so I think things are actually looking up from a franchisee profitability standpoint. John, how do you gain scale even from here, even with the growth that you're seeing? Subway reportedly exploring a sale that could value the restaurant uh, at $10 billion. Half of Subway, though, is set to be owned by a charity founded by the company's late co-founder, Peter Buck. Buck leaving his 50 percent Subway stake to the Peter and Carmen Lucia Buck Foundation, where his two sons are serving on the board of directors. What are the plans? Yeah, so um, in terms of growth, uh, let's talk about that first. It's really a, a bifurcated story. You know, in the U.S., it's much more of an average unit volume story. As you know, we're very developed. I think there's still room for some growth, but it's much more about how we grow top line sales through a relaunch of a loyalty <laughs> program coming out, continuing to invest in digital, um, building out our catering business, et cetera. Internationally, it's a very different story. Internationally, we have tons of room to grow. Uh, I would say we could add another 24, 25,000 units outside the U.S. if we were at the same scale as some of our competitors um, in terms of international versus domestic growth. So unit growth in one part of the world and, and again, average unit volume in the U.S. Um, you know, as for the families, they own the business. It's really up to them to decide what they want to do with the asset. All we can really do is grow the business uh, and get franchisees in a better spot, regardless of and, what they choose to do. And, and in terms of the globalization uh, build out, where specifically globally are, are you uh, looking to open new stores? Yeah, the good news is really every, we're in 100 countries, but outside of five or six countries, I'd say, you know, you should think of us as a mile wide and an inch deep. So it's continuing to build out India, continuing to build out China, continuing to do deals in Indonesia, Malaysia, you know, Saudi, UAE. It's, it's pretty broad based. I think we have just under 6,000 restaurant commitments signed up in the last year with probably another three or 4,000 that should cross the goal line in the next quarter or so here. So we've got a lot of restaurants teed up to be built over the next five to eight years. Mark. Hey, John, uh, yesterday Tom Brady announced his retirement for good this time. And I know Subway was partnered with the NFL GOAT just a few months ago. I'd love to hear your thoughts. It's, it was a tough season for him. He lost four fumbles and a supermodel all in the same season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the beauty of Subway and the size of our ad fund is, you know, we, we work with a tremendous number of athletes. We haven't actually worked with Tom probably in over a year. So I don't, I don't really have a lot to say there other than the fact Keep watching what's coming up uh, in the next couple quarters, and we'll, I think, continue to wow you with our with our celebrity athletes and some of the great ad work that you're going to see. Mike Baker. Yeah, John, uh, first of all, I'd like to take some credit for that uh, record sales number. I've got three boys at home, and <laughs> they stop at Subway at least once a day. So, you know, you're welcome. Uh, but... What do you well, thank consider? You. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you consider, or where do you consider to be looking forward your top international market? Uh, well, you know, from a unit standpoint, it'd obviously either be China or India, just given the size of the of the populations, and then given the size of the unit um, commitments or, or the development deals that we've signed. So. I think we'll see tremendous growth in those two markets over the coming years. Okay. John, real quick before you go, I've got a list here of uh, all the commodities that have seen price hikes in the last uh, year. you got eggs up 60 percent year over year, margarine up 44 percent year over year, butter, airline fares, flour, prepared flour mix is all up 23, 28 percent. Your thoughts on where the cost pressures are right now? 
Yeah, I mean, as I said, I mean, you correctly noted just then, they have been pretty much across the board. Again, we've probably taken 8% pricing, I would say, in the last, you know, four to six quarters, maybe 9% pricing. Uh, some of that through menu mix shift, given that the signature series, uh, the Subway series products are, you know, more, more indulgent and higher priced. But we've actually taken some price as well. My comment earlier was just that I think we've crested that. So I actually think while there are at elevated levels, you're going to see reductions and franchisees are going to feel some relief in terms of pricing pressure going in 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 the 23. All right. We will leave it there. John, good to see you. Thanks so much. John Chidzi joining us, CEO at Subway. We'll be right back with the Hot Topic Buzz right after this.